I have a puppy waiting for me at home. I'll go, I'll go, we're gonna go. Thought I'd throw that in there. You, uh, winning the sportsmanship award. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I honestly, I honestly got did not find that out until I got home yesterday. My mom called me, um, told me I won an award. I had no idea, but, um, j yeah, just to get recognized for that mean, means a lot. Um, it means that coaches or players, whoever voted for that, um, yeah, it means a lot. You, did they explain exactly what you did to turn that? Do you have any idea? I have no idea, no. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, there, yeah, there was no, like, certificate or any, like, explanation. But, uh, yeah, I'll take an award, man. And what's the status of your potential sixth year? Do you know anything more? Yeah, I actually got, there's been an answer back. It's been approved. It's been approved? Okay. It has been approved, yeah. Back yeah. yeah, so that's the plan. I mean, you still have to have some important talks, but yeah, that's the plan. It's been approved. How excited are you to have that thing there? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Um, it was a weird process, um, just dealing with the NCAA, you know, if you're, with those cases, it's kind of case by case thing, right. but yeah, it's pretty cool. How much did you have to do, like what? How much did you have to do? Did you have to like write an explanation, or was it compliance it was, people who wrote it? Or it was it was some my part. I mean, there was a there was like a clear form, and then there was kind of like an essay based thing, and then from the rest there, compliance took care of the rest. Do you, I mean, what did you try to explain? Like, do you really have to sort of like make your case, or are you asking sort of like for empathy from them? What what is it that you? It doing? was, I guess, kind of a little bit. It was kind of just telling my story, um, telling them I got registered freshman year, telling them. Um, tore, tore my left bicep, tore my right bicep, tore my left bicep again, tore my meniscus, tore my Achilles, which is, I think, totaled up to 24 months of rehab. So when it all said and done, they they chose to give me another year. Is there any part of you that's like, the heck with it, I'm out of here, man. Like, I've had all this stuff to deal with, five years is enough. Like, why do you want a sixth year? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I still have more. I, st I still have more to give. I mean, playing in the NFL is still a goal of mine. And, um... I feel like obviously if I wanted to do that, I would probably need to do a six year. Yeah. Justin, cool. you said some important conversations still have to take place. Who are those conversations with? Um, parents, coaches here, um, yeah, just family, things like that. Are, are you afraid? I mean, like, it seems it's like, not like it's not like it's not like already determined. What are those conversations? It's more so, um, it's more so kind of football based. Okay. Kind of, um, you know, ideally. It's, 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 I really don't feel like talking about the okay, details okay. of all that I, stuff. I, but, yeah. I get it. I just wanted to make sure there's, there's no doubt that you're going to be playing football again next year. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, what, the, what, how did you feel when you got the news? It was great news. I was really excited. I mean, it's something we, me and compliance have been working with for, I think, um, it was more of a waiting game, honestly. The form only took, I think, a day or two to okay. complete. Yeah, but it was more of a waiting game. When did you find out? Um, a little bit ago. I think, um, compliance told me, I don't know exactly, probably a couple weeks. A couple oh, weeks ago, maybe. It's been holding this back for us. Yeah, I didn't tweet anything. I haven't talked to you guys in four weeks, I figured. But it's just interesting. I mean, you know how it is sometimes with the NCAA. The NCAA gets a lot of criticism for some stuff. Sometimes the way they handle stuff, you can't figure out what they're going to do. So sometimes when stuff like this happens, it's like people feel really good about the fact that a guy who's worked hard and had bad luck like the NCAA seemingly did the right thing here. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. Like I said, it's that's that was kind of the weird, weird thing when I was going through the process. Is there's just no like clear, like defined, like what people have to do to get a six year or get like instant eligibility. So I mean, yeah, when I got that news, I was super relieved. So who told you? And then who did you tell? Who was the first person you told? Compliance told me. First person I told was group chat to my parents, and I got. Ten calls after that. What was the reaction to the parents? All excited. Jump out of the arms, yeah. screaming all, yeah, all excited, yeah. Ryan Day's been bringing you up in press conferences, like talking about what an impact you're making, even if it's not getting as much notice from the general public. Have you have you sensed from him that he's especially happy with you lately? Yeah, I mean, me and, me and Coach Day, Coach Meyer always had a great relationship. I think it's something um, now since I made a couple plays, It's I think now it's getting a little more... News, yeah, but we've, all, we've always had a great relationship, for sure. But are you giving him something maybe that you weren't unable to before? I mean, what, I guess, why are we hearing your name more and more often on Ryan Day? Yeah, I would say last year was kind of my first full year playing without being injured.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.